Claire from the Happiness Bank and welcome to my weekly video blog. This week I want to chat to you about two different parts to happiness. I've been reading a little bit lately about eudaimonic happiness and hedonistic happiness. Let me explain to you what they are. Hedonistic happiness is the happiness that you feel when you've got those short-term bursts of joy. So for example, um, going on a holiday would be hedonistic happiness because it doesn't stick around. So you're happy for those two weeks of your holiday and then when you get back, you've kind of got to get back into the grind of work. So you've had this excitement and this happiness, this sudden burst of happiness, which is very hedonistic, and then you have to come back to reality. Um, whereas eudaimonic happiness is real deep-seated happiness. I would class it as contentment or peacefulness and knowing that you're living a meaningful life, that um, what you're doing has some meaning and purpose to it, that maybe you're on your soul's journey, that you're really connecting with what you're doing, that you're living with your values or living to your values, that you're working with your strengths. So it's something that really adds to a meaningful life. So I hope that makes sense. What I want to talk to you today about is hedonistic happiness. Now, I think both of them have equal uh, standing in the whole spectrum of happiness. You, you can't have one without the other. It's great to have that eudaimonic happiness, that deep-seated contentment, interspersed with some hedonistic happiness, so some really awesome feelings of joy and excitement and looking forward to things. Now, in the hedonistic happiness spectrum, one of the things that I think is really important for you to do is to practice a little bit of self-love. And I know self-love has been banded around so much. Um, I can't think of another word to use it, but it's doing something for yourself that you really enjoy doing. Because I think if you do it on a regular basis, then you are more inclined to be a better person, more inclined to be able to give to others. So it's sustaining your happiness so that you can be a great person then to give back. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing a little bit of hedonistic happiness on yourself. So my encouragement to you to come up with um, some things that you really love doing is to write down maybe your, your top five. What are the top five things that you love doing? I've written them on a card and I've slipped them into my wallet so that I can revisit it all the time and go keep myself accountable. It's like, hey Claire, have you done some of these, these things this month? And if not, why not? Because I know it's really important for me to do those things to sustain some of my happiness. So I'm going to share them with you. Um, on top of my list is, and I guess they're in no particular order, is I love going to the movies. And I'll go to the movies just by myself because it's wonderful escapism. I don't have to worry about anyone else. I can just get lost in this fantasy world. So I love going to the movies. Number two, I love reading. So I've always got a good book by me. It's like having a best friend there all the time. It's always there to pick up and, and read and get lost again. And number three, I love coming out by the water. Um, to me, by nature, water is my thing. I do, it calms me. So I'll always come out by the water. Hate ants and moths and insects, by the way. So I'm kind of battling some ants here at the moment, but it's worth it to be by the water. Number four, I love music. So if I can get to a theatre and see a musical, man, you'll catch me there all the time. Well, actually, I'm lying. I don't get there all the time. It's kind of a bit too expensive, but I always make sure I can, you know, do some theatre at least uh, once or twice a year. And the last one is coffee with girlfriends or I catch up with my girlfriends. They're like food for my soul. I always feel so uplifted when I've had spent some time with my girlfriends. So that's my five top lists and I always make sure that I do it at least once or twice a month. So happiness deposits for you this week is to write down your five top things that you love doing, slip them into your wallet and then make sure that you do them um, once a month or twice a month or as often as you can. Have an awesome week, enjoy um, everything that you do, keep colouring this world with health and happiness and I will look forward to seeing you next time.